Good evening and welcome back into the show this evening. Now, for those of you turning in tonight for our student athlete of the week on Corey McCullough, unfortunately, we are having difficulties with our video server this evening, so we will not have any videos to play for you. But that doesn't mean we're not going to have fun tonight on WCBI Sports. First off, let's talk a little baseball tonight. ALDS. It got interesting tonight and it was fun between the Rangers and Blue Jays. It was a good one tonight, and Joey Bautista, he was the reason why the Blue Jays wanted a three-run home run in the seventh. Actually was called on a shot by a fan out in the outfield. So the Blue Jays, they win 6-3, to three, and they win the series three games to two. As you know, Mitch Moreland, former Amory Panther, playing for the Rangers tonight. Texas won those first two games, could not win the next three. So the Blue Jays moving on to the ALCS. We had another game this evening. It was a good one between the Astros and Royals. Houston actually got out to a lead early on the Royals, but the game was played in Kansas City tonight. It's a game five. There's a reason why the Royals are still where they are. Royal up. Kansas City wins seven to two. They win the series three to two. So that means we will have a Kansas City Toronto ALCS for the right to go to the World Series. It will be a best of seven series, by the way, between the Royals and the Toronto Blue Jays. That'll start sometime this weekend. Now, the NLDS, that will finish up tomorrow night between the Mets and the Dodgers. It's going to be a great pitching matchup. Zach Grinke is going to be on the mound for the Dodgers at Dodger Stadium in L.A. The winner of that game will go on to face the Chicago Cubs in the NLCS. Many more storylines to talk about this evening from around the viewing area. A lot of good stuff to talk about actually as well. You can see right there, Kobe Jones had a big day today, was presented with his Semper Fi All-American jersey. He will play in that game January 3rd, 2016. That is out in Carson, California. Maya Taylor, big commitment tonight for Olive Branch. She commits to the Mississippi State women's basketball team. She's class of 2017, so she still has two more years with Lady Conquistadors. And we talked about Ponce de Leon earlier this evening. He is a conquistador, much like Olive Branch. And also Tupelo's Justin Clifton had a big game last night for Arkansas State, had a pick six and was got the helped get the win for the Red Wolves over South Alabama 49 to 31. So then blankets repping very well last night between Arkansas State and South Alabama. Now, it's going to be a big Friday night on the end zone. We actually have some Thursday night games coming up tomorrow night. West Lounge is going to host Vardaman. Victory Christian will have Tuscaloosa Christian at home. We'll have both of those games for you this eve tomorrow night on WCBI Sports. We also have a big night at JUCO. EMCC and Northwest facing off that. There was an interesting ruling earlier this evening coming out of Colin that the Wolfpack will have to forfeit their first two victories of this season. So that means EMCC actually still has the longest win streak ever recorded by the NJCAA. So EMCC still has that long winning streak going in to Northwest. But speaking of high school football, going to be a good night tomorrow night of high school football on the end zone, as you can see right here. <laughs> Camera two, camera one, camera three. You see right there, Louisville, Knoxby, Calhoun City, and Bruce. Those are our Carl Hogan Toyota games of the week. They're both big time rivalry games. You have the Toothpick Bowl, Master versus Apprentice between MC Miller and Tyrone Shorter. And then Calhoun City and Bruce. Trojan fans, you don't want to hear it, but you haven't won this game in over 10 years. Could this be the year to play spoiler? And a couple other good games. Columbus South Haven, Madison Central Starkville, two big games in 6A. Also keep an eye on Eupora and Winona in Region 4 2A. That could figure out a lot in that division. Eupora comes into Friday night's game ranked number two in Class 2A. It's going to be a great Saturday slate of college football. Gets it all started tomorrow night. Auburn's going to be on the road at Kentucky. But it could be a big telly weekend for the SEC, especially for Mississippi State and Ole Miss, technically out of conference, actually. So Ole Miss, they're going to be on the road at Memphis. You see 11 a.m. That game will be on ABC in our viewing area. I know we were telling a lot of you that it could be either be on ESPN2 or ABC. It will be on ABC tomorrow or ABC on Saturday from the Liberty Bowl. We will be there with all the highlights. La Tech and Mississippi State, big one on the SEC network. Don't take Louisiana Tech for granted. That's a team that's very dangerous under Skip Holtz. Has a good quarterback in Jeff Driscoll, one of the top running backs that many of you may not know about in Kenneth Dixon. We also got Alabama, Texas A&M. That'll be on WCBI 2:30. We promise you, we will have video of that game. Don't worry, we'll get the video back up. And then Florida LSU will be on ESPN at 6 p.m. It's going to be a great weekend of football. So we have the NFL on Sunday. A lot of good stuff coming up. We also we, we wanted to talk about ICC with you this evening. If you watched us at nine, we talked about the ICC basketball team. Graham Pate and Nancy Gray bring back some talented teams. 
On, on the women's side for ICC, Nancy Gray actually has plenty of area talent. Marley Hatcher from Pontotoc, Zeta Cox from Ripley, Grace Elliott from New Site. A lot of good players, including Asia Partlow from Tupelo. So if you keep an eye on the ICC Lady Indians on the hardwood this year, you'll see a lot of area players on the floor. For the ICC men's team, though, Grant Pate, just one area talent this year coming from Tremont, rep representing the Eagles. That Cody North is really coming around for that ICC men's basketball team, so it's going to be fun to keep an eye on ICC this year. Northeast, we'll have a little bit more on them coming up tomorrow, but it's going to be a fabulous year for college basketball. Mississippi State bat men's basketball had their photo shoot earlier this evening. It was a good time. Malik Newman got in his shots. Again, their first game will be November 6th coming up against Fort Valley State. That's a Friday. Ole Miss starts a day earlier, so if you want to see the Rebels and the Bulldogs do some work early on on the hardwood, you will definitely get a chance to see all of that. So we apologize once again for the technical difficulties with our video server. If you're looking to watch the Corey McCullough Student Athlete of the Week, great kid from Louisville, plays football, plays soccer, has a great boot. We'll have that up on our website sometime tomorrow. We're again running through some video issues, but again, we will have that for you this evening or coming up tomorrow night, I should say, on WCBI Sports. Hey, Robbie, at least your handwriting's really nice. I'm I've, I've been told I have very matronly handwriting, so thanks, Mom. It's very legible, and you write, if I had to write like that, like on a chalkboard, it would go up or down. I just can't do that. I'm not that Maybe talented. I need to be a teacher. All right, stick around. Keith will take a final look at your forecast after the break. All right, hey, as you can see behind me, 88 degrees, warm tomorrow. Let me pop that seven day up there. Come on, computer, let's go. There it is. Hey, there Magic. it is. Magic. Check it out. <laughs> A warm tomorrow, breezy and cooler Friday, and some pretty nice weather. We want the rain, but it's just not going to come until the end of next week. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah. With all the rain we had last week during Football Friday. Football's looking great. Football's week. good. That's what right. I like to hear, Keith. All right. We're enjoying the sunshine, even though we do that, need the rain That's for right. the drought. That's mm right. -hmm. All, All right. right, well, thanks for joining us. Sorry for those technical difficulties. We'll see you tomorrow morning and enjoy this copyright. <laughs>